Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thank you for joining me. It is the Friday evening before whitetail bow season starts here in Texas. I just finished my drive up here to the hill country and I've looked at the trail camera pictures and uh, I really don't want to interfere with my whitetail on most of my setups out here. But in this case, I have a, uh, a feeder light set up on a uh, feeder that's pretty much away from everything else. So we're going to try to sneak in here and see if we can't get a hog underneath this green light tonight. And uh, kind of a little bonus hunt before uh, whitetail season opens tomorrow. So I only had a few minutes, but I wanted to do an intro for this video. So uh, I got to get on in there and uh, try to beat these hogs. We do have a pretty good wind. It should be in my face and uh hopefully everything falls in place see y'all in the blind and i'm gonna cross this field this is where we're headed as y'all can see it looks like we can hopefully slide in without getting busted by any pigs so let me go ahead and uh get in there as fast and quietly as i can all right here's our setup We have a east wind. The wind is blowing this way. I expect the hogs to come out of this area and come straight to the feeder. If they get suspicious and go check the wind over here, we're screwed. They're gonna bust us. But we should have the initial opportunity if they show up. Y'all can see we got the elusive wild light, outfitter kill light. So uh, we're going to hang out here. Feeder goes off at 8.30 p.m. I'm all set up in the blind. And uh, what we've been having come to this feeder is a sow. And the sow has a, I don't know if it's eight or ten shoats with her. Um, the sow has been running all the deer off this feeder for the last, well, since April. And there's also a big boar over here that's been running off my deer. So I wouldn't shoot this sow back in May and June because uh, her piglets were too young. But now they are uh, fully weaned off and uh, six months old. So I'll either shoot this calico sow or I really want the big boar, so. And uh, it's these right here. So hopefully we can make that happen. All right.
what a great hunt this guy came out right after the feeder went off as y'all saw uh, it's my first hog to shoot with the new Easton axis five millimeters had the uh, 100 grain slick trick broadhead uh, he didn't go nowhere maybe 15 yards uh, this guy's been running off a lot of my deer at this feeder location it's pretty much become overloaded with hogs so uh, deer season starts tomorrow here in Texas bow only season so uh, anyway I'm happy with this hunt uh, I'd like to thank Chad again for uh, recommending the exact setup for that elusive wildlife outfitter kill light because uh, this year is fun I got up here and I had the itch to hunt even though season didn't start till tomorrow uh, this particular feeder location was set off to the side of the ranch so it really didn't interfere with any of my deer movement on what I'm going to hunt tomorrow opening morning. But anyway, I couldn't be any happier and I want to thank you all for joining me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down there, ring that notification bell, and uh, we'll see you all next time.